testing these uh, attribute uh, methods is uh, also similar to how we started to test uh, the, the class itself. We have the we has extended the, the test uh, script, so now we're going to have six test units. The first we start with the the same thing we had earlier, checking whether we can still use load the module. Then we have create an object and check whether that's uh, the correct ob object. And then here is what we do: we call the setter, the name, and check using the is function of the of test more whether it is the same as what we expected. So we expect that the setters, if you set the, uh, a to a value, it will return the value that you have just set. And uh, that's how it works. So is gets three parameters. The first is the ex actual value. You c we, can, we could call this separately, but there's no, pr no, no point. So this is the call to the setter, and that's it has a return value. The second is the actually expected value, and the third is just a name, so we that describes this test. And then we'll when it, this runs, if this, these are equal, then the is will uh, print out OK. Then we check whether the getter of the same uh, attribute returns the same string, so we, we again call the getter, and then the expected value is still foo, and the name is just a appropriate getter. And then what we needed earlier, we, we saw earlier that we could actually use the same class now as um, and use the constructor and provide values there. So here we do that exactly. We call the constructor with the name uh, key value pair. We get an object, and uh, this is a different ob uh, variable just so they won't uh, clash and they, they, uh, they make to make sure that they're testing the right thing. And then I'm checking here here whether it's an it's a person object still, just as uh, it was done here, and calling the getter, checking whether the uh, getter returns the right value. Here I even forgot to add uh, the third uh, parameter, which would be the, the description of this test. So let's see what what happens when I run this. If I switch over here, and uh, now I'm in the zero one directory, right? This is the the same directory where I need to be. And I type in prove minus l and the t directory, and it runs all the tests and uh, prints out everything. Now, if I want to see the actual details of this uh, test, I can use the v option as well. It's the verbose option, and it will print out all the details, so all the OKs. As you can see, each one of them has a name, except the last one, the OK6. That didn't have a name, and that's because here I forgot to give one. And you can also see that the is okay doesn't really need a name; it automatically generates a name from its own, uh, the name of the, the the class that we are looking for. So the fifth one was the object is a person. That title was generated automatically by the is okay.